Hello, welcome back. Last time I had to learn some new things about Sokoban, so I guess that's what I get for implementing the mechanics of another game in my game, and uh, not actually being that great at that game. <laughs> it's fine. So, anyway, infestation. Oh boy, and we're doing some more here. Oh, okay. So building on what I learned back there. Now there's multi-push. That will change a few things. So a reminder about how multi-push blocks work. Any number of them can push one non-multi-push block, but if I push, like, if I could push from here to the north, the push would extend to this, but then that block would bump into that and not move. But, like, from here I can push this to the north if I want, or this to the south. Okay, so... <sighs> Extract all these. Let's just go do things and see what happens. First of all, can I get anything out without any assistance? Sure. Mm, sure. Here's one. And... Can I turn that into another? This is a failure condition, because that's against the wall. Not strictly, because those are... Yeah, those will open up, except no, this is all jammed up. Okay, so I think your purpose is to get me access to this because, like, the way this is all packed together here... I don't have an in. Yeah, I kind of do. Like, it's not a good one, but I could do that. Hmm. Is this necessarily a loss? I mean, it is, but it's not as far from a victory as I might think, because, like, I can pack that in there. I can pack that in there. I could pack that into one of the two. Then this is my only outstanding problem. Okay, so... This seems to be the primary issue. How are you going to help me? Like, what can you even do for me? Push this inward, maybe? You could do that. Do I want you to? Let's try. Okay, so, unpacking. How did I start this before? It was something like... No. Like, uh, yes. Like this. This is cool. Yeah, so this very underused element from Tower of Destiny. Can actually maybe do some things here. Alright, so I've slid things around too much because now I don't have access to that space right there. Can I get it without sliding those things around that way? I don't think I can. If I don't have a free monster block, which would have to be that one... Mm. Mm. Hmm. I guess you could explode this here? That might be what I want. So you blow up in this spot. Let's try that. Because yeah, I think... Despite what it looks like, my options are actually kind of limited here, in a way that I like. So what I'm saying is I want you to explode here at 7-9. Okay. Mmm, that's a problem. No, it's not in the way I was thinking it was. I think it's actually fine. Yeah, okay, so I can do it like that and that's still disposable. You explode and nothing happens. Ah, but nothing's going in there to explode that. No, that's not a good move. Well, no, hold on. You explode like that. Uh, that's terrible, but I think I can make it not terrible, maybe. Alright, you get disposed. So yeah, I can 
Shuffle a lot of stuff around. This looks perfect. Yeah, I think I'm done. Okay. That seemed to do the job. Okay, that was a lot easier than the other one. Maybe if I had known some principles... Oh, do I have a problem still? I think I do. Hang on. Couldn't I have moved those further first, though? Yeah, I can just, just get these out of here. Okay, there we go. That's plenty of room. Great. Yeah, if I had just understood a principle, I think I could have made that last room simpler than it was, but... Oh, that's fine. You can go around. Yep. Great. Okay. Corridor. I see. Corridor with all the trapdoors over hot coals. Let's go west. Hey, a key. Just for me. Okay, no blocks getting in here. And I can come back from somewhere that's up there. If I get somewhere that's up there. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Oh, this is a daunting looking room. So right, that south boundary, that doesn't actually go anywhere. Yeah, there's no way to like, get rid of this or anything. Okay, so... What does these do? All of those toggle those two. Let's just play with the room and see what it looks like because, like, pressing it up front. If I go there... Why did I die? Oh, because there's a angry eye there. I did not see you. <laughs> there's a lot going on in this room. It's easy to not see something that's happening. So you shoot that way. This does... This might just be a one way to make sure I can't go east to west. I have to go the other way. So I think you need to be out of here. Yeah, so I need this runway to resolve so that I gain ability to move horizontally through there. You need to... I'm not sure there's a Pacific floor here for some reason. There's a lot in this room. This has, like, several parts to it. Anyway, it looks like the only way I can interact with it up front is to do this. Okay? Because if I go down here, I die one way or the other. I'm in crossfire right now, so, like, this situation is unresolvable without shenanigans. And I don't see that kind of shenanigans here. So what these do? All the same thing. I choose my row. Then I'm in a race. Wait, hold on, those are... Oh, I didn't realize those were pacified. So I could prime all of those if I want. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be silly. Check us out. What dropped? All of those. Okay, so those are all on... Right, I didn't notice the orange highlight. So those all get dropped. Here's an animation you never see in Tower of Destiny, because there are no toggle switches over pits, but there's an animation just for that. Okay, so, this is pretty funny. Alright, so that's what happens there. You make it there, that kills all the angry eyes, you explode, that's no longer a monster. You've made it all the way up there. So this looks- hello, statue. Okay, so we got a couple of checks here. I need to- I need this wall to maintain its integrity. So that the statue gets through here and I can dispose of it while it's sitting right there. What's your story? When did you start moving? Ah, uh, okay, so I get only four angry eyes I can direct northward? No, three. So only three I can direct northward, because this needs to... Like, I can't get in here and back. You need to be here to... Okay, this will take care of itself. Yeah, a lot of this room solves itself. It's just I need to figure out which is the... Like, my main action here is to choose which three of these many angry eyes shoots to the north. All I have to do is create a situation where I can manually 
blow things open here and traverse. Pretty sure I want you. That looks like a very useful one to shoot. Pretty sure I want you, and aren't those the only two I need? Because, like, if I can do this manually, isn't that fine? Ah, no, no, no. I have to race. I am indeed in a race. So you two, I would say? Hang on, how tight is this race? Okay, yeah, so you're pacified and primed. That's gonna fire as soon as those go. This is pretty much definite. This is pretty much definite. This one does not have the same backstop on it. I'm gonna either be detonating this manually or like avoiding doing anything to it. I think you look pretty appealing because that eliminates this. And I can walk like that and hope that's quick enough for what I need. Let's find out how tight this is. So I'd start here in the middle. Okay, there's a timing component. Yeah, I am, there's a bomb bug racing ahead of me. So far this seems to be working out pretty well. I guess I need to go north now, which is... Oh, I have a problem. That is unacceptable as it turns out. I can't make it through here. Okay, so I get a few extra turns, then that closes. So, one, oops, um, okay. One, nope. One, two, three, four. I would not have made it. So I have to start closer than that. Okay, um, So now I'm thinking this is something I desire. So that I can be in the north row running here closest to this. This I can explode myself if I can afford to step in such a way that'll do it. But I think I'd rather have you do it for me. So if I want to be all the way north... I really do need this gone. Because I don't have time to dig my way through. I get one more. It's kind of no good place to put it, is there? Hey, wait a second. Check it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, I have to hang out in the curtains all day. All right, so if I get one more, what luxury would I like? This will already break that wall. This will break that one, you're breaking this one. Oh, I'm not shooting this. Okay, well, I might as well. Oops. Uh, you stay. Did I move you by accident? No. Okay, so... Uh... Grrr. So I exploded. I'll wait one. I think I can afford that. Thank you. Hey, look at that. Perfect timing, perfect everything. You're gonna explode, you'll take out the statue, it won't hit me because it's pacified, and room is clear! Alright, so, big complicated machine, but I just had to understand what part of the machine I was. I'm playing some Celeste here. <laughs> and once I did, everything was fine. Okay, well, wow, what a different experience from last time. Okay, so I've done all I can up here as far as I can tell. Let's go this way. Main entrance. Okay, right, I see. So yeah, this is a tall brick wall in the abstract, and you would come in there, but these aren't connected to anything, so I'm already in. I don't need to use the entrance, which is good because it's not functioning. Duflex Smeltery. Do you suppose this is where I enter the puzzle from? I mean, probably. How will I interact with these elements? by causing this angry eye to shoot through these doors when they're all open and blow up everybody and itself at once. Okay. So the question is, how do I clear? Okay, I need an explosion here and an explosion here. And those need to be timed such that you go south onto 
either of those. Looks not too hard to set up. Okay. So where are the complications going to come in, I wonder? Uh, let's go here. So let's see how this timing works out. Perfectly. No issues there. Okay. Oh, okay, that's fun. That's okay, I have one on this side already. And there's no timing involved here, so I can just do that as I want. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was actually super fine. Everything about that worked. You can explode, by the way. Okay. Simple. I found the easy rooms. What's down here? Molten floor, I see. Given the presence of this, I think I do start from here. Given the presence of this, I can also access the rest of the room. I guess I'm here doing this now, even though I could have gone a different direction. Ooh, okay. So, turn one, you blow up. Nothing I can do about that. How the heck? Actually, I think I might need to start from here. Because if I don't... Then how am I dealing with this? Is this room clearable? Okay, now hang on. The fact that you... Ah, uh, if I start from here... I still can't do anything. Like, you have no safe ground to stand on, but if I start from here, I can at least move you a little bit. I don't think I do this room from here, but maybe I access the place where I do the room from here. Or, well, I can, but... Mm. Ah, okay, so I didn't think about that sight line there. That may help things? So now I just decide when to break your sight line, which I think would be about now-ish. Such that... why would I care, though? Hmm. 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 How do I deal with you? Trapped over hot coals. How do I deal with you? Okay, maybe... Okay, I have an idea. Maybe I carefully keep you alive. Okay, let's see. I need to be moving. Right about now. No, you're gonna take a turn to turn. Well, you still exploded where I wanted you, but 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 that's not where I wanted you, is it? Well, so one thing I'm not thinking about. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So here's another approach to this I wasn't thinking about. Slide the thing that you will be seeing all the way up here. Now zip over this way, get ready to get it out of there right about then. That's the perfect time. Here we go. Your fear has been broken. Now, issue is... Nothing. There are no issues, because I can pull you over. Get that off there, and everything's cool. Okay. Great. What did I earn access to here? Oh, goodness. Okay. A lot of stuff. Accident. There's a little cave-in on the side of the factory. Okay. So that's what's going on here. Uh, sure, this is just one room and it is for a key. A lot of floor types here. So the grass gate, the dirt gate, the sand gate, and the snow gate. Ooh. Bunch of these going on. Okay. 
right, so what are all the monsters? It's just these. So, six monster blocks, six bomb bugs. Each bomb bug needs to be over top of a... Okay, this is pretty funny. How do these go down? That's the grass... Okay, so let's... Oh, hey, a sign. How to be a gate operator. Decide initial configuration on six gates. Enter the control room and operate. Leave control room and go home. Sounds right. So that's my kill switch. That sends those down. Oh. But I can redo it. Alright, that look, don't look too bad. Okay, so I get one shot at this. So without interacting with anything, Dirt Gate would do that, and I have lost the ability to kill you to gain the ability to kill you. This is pretty cool. These are some mechanisms. So that's the sand gate, the snow gate. Oh, right, okay, so here's my reference, of course. Dirt covers these. Sand covers these, snow covers those. Grass covers all of them. Great, okay, so I don't have to keep using my mouse here. Okay, so the ones that... I need to break the identicalness of these two, because this is dirt, and both of these are dirt and grass, and nothing else. And these need to be end up at different places, so therefore these two, at the very least, need to be different from each other. Same principle applies here, and I'm going to make them different in the same way, because you're going the same distance. These two I don't necessarily need to do that for, because I can do them separately, however, these things are interlinked. So first of all, let's try this and see how many bomb bugs I get with this configuration. Does this not mean I can never toggle the dirt gate? It does not mean that, because if I do snow and dirt at the same time, then I can move you individually. Oh boy, that moved a bunch of other stuff, but that's actually okay. Because that stuff needs to move. Alright, so... Dirt and snow. Just to keep things simple, I want to think in the same way. Alright, so dirt only. No, dirt was already how it needed to be, so just do- Oh! Uh... Okay, so sand is getting involved. I, I, I want it to be involved this much. But then... I think I'm off by one, kinda. Uh, are you sure? If I can do that one snowy thing individually, that'd be great. I can't, though. Alright, so I'm close. Ooh, sort of. Hmm. Okay. Partial, but I think I need to disrupt these in some way. Let's try a simple pattern like that and just see how it goes. So I never want to move column 3. So basically I want 1, 3, 0, 4, 1, 3. 1, 3, 0, 4, 1, 3. Okay. So in this case... I could do that. I probably don't want to, but I could. If I could achieve a configuration which just moves these two by one. So just have this door and this door open and everything else closed, then that'd be great. 
I'm kind of close to being able to do that. Wait, no, isn't this perfect? It is, okay. Well, I, uh, I kind of looked into that, but I'll take it. I love this, like, this little mechanism for deciding which switch I'm hitting when. This is, uh, this is some cool advanced use of the toggle switch. And you all die, and then I can go home. Okay. All right, I think this time I should probably quit while I'm ahead. Hey, I got a new journal entry. What happened here that I hadn't seen before? Bombug dies in falling in pits without exploding. Is there no time in Tower of Destiny where a bomb bug goes in a pit? I can't think of one. There must not be. Okay. <laughs> cool. Let's peek around just a little bit. Because I don't think I've explored the full extent of what I have access to. So I unlocked these two rooms. Getting me to... Oh, well, let's clear this. Okay, sure. So that chain of rooms... Wait a second. Yeah, I can go here, but there's a fence in the way. I think I might have actually almost finished the smeltery section of this. There is... This room, which looks not too bad, but I don't think I'm going to do it today. There's this room. Right, and how many... Um, six prime keys, so yeah. Then that'll give me a star key. I forget where I cashed those in, but yeah, I am actually almost done with this section. Neat. Okay. See, all these open boundaries... Ah, but I can see there's no question mark on the map here. There is a room here. Curiously enough. Oh, well, look at that. Right, so that's led to from water pollution. Okay, so one, two, three, probably four, maybe five. Could be more that way for all I know. A few more rooms in here, but yeah, today went very well. So right, next time, water pollution and piston, and we'll see what those are like.